looks like Liberty and Albany both have six players on their list. One other player's name is Big Chungus24. I'm going to hate saying that name, but I'm going to have to. <laughs> and we're getting into the game. First match, of course, Oasis. Welcome to Oasis. And we get the same first point that we had last time with this upper platform. Liberty last time ran last game, which was just about an hour and a half ago. Liberty ran what is kind of seen as normal here. The Reaper Doomfist and all of this. They did not run Sigma at first, I believe. They did run the Arisa, but I think they switched onto Sigma. <laughs> so, it'll be interesting to see what these teams run. We do see the Fair of Mercy. And we actually see the Winston Wrecking Ball. I don't know if that'll stay, but that could be what we see. Yeah, it's it will we'll see what happens, but Wrecking Ball so interesting picks here. Wrecking Ball, Winston, and the Widowmaker. We did see the buff to Winston's bubble, so that'll be a huge point of contention here. And on the other side, Albany, the Bastion Tracer, and then the Reinhardt Arisa. So that's the first thing that we'll have to keep an eye out for. As we see the Winston coming in, actually forcing back Mora, but goes way too far in, straight into the Bastion. Melk able to take down that Bastion though. So Liberty has a bit of point presence here now without the Bastion and with Jude's rezzed up because you do have a Mercy on the side of Liberty. Albany does not. Lucio on the point. Does get a bit of healing from your Moira, but does eventually fall. Fractal goes down to the Moira though. Must have gotten in the back line or maybe Fractal got a little bit too aggressive. Abigit again. Set up on this Bastion. He's asleep now. And Melk will just be free firing. Liberty takes first point. <laughs> so. Screaming in the hallway. Welcome to my dorm. Um. <laughs> anyways, Liberty getting that first point and pushing back Albany. Night K on this Tracer, it's going to be interesting to see if he can actually cause some... And Abajit switching over to Soldier in order to deal with the Vera a little bit more. Fractal switching over to the McCree. It'll be interesting to see though if these players can actually do some damage to this Vera in the sky. <laughs> Apparently Night K can't as he just falls to the Vera, but Abajit taking Fractal down with Winston Prime and Wage, Jude's going in causing some disruption and getting out but Melk takes himself down with a rocket minefield coming out from Grinch gonna be hoping to have him well it gives actually the mercy room to res Melk so that's a huge part of that whole situation and Jude is just attempting to get back into this line but he's unable to get actually anything done he dies to the wrecking ball fractal Nice flashbang kill will keep Liberty in an even trade until Grinch gets Grizzle and their two Wrecking Balls are circling the point. Fractal will fall to Nike who is now on the Reaper. And Minisman has that minefield. He's looking to drop it right onto the entire Liberty team right here. Does not kill them, and the sound barrier will come out. Doesn't kill, but it looks like it may be enough to force Liberty off the point. And two more kills from it is man. Now the uh, minefields work. So, yeah. <laughs> we'll see BC Big Chunk is on this Arisa button night. Okay. He's not sitting about to look around the corner. He does not get spot out. He will get the Anna from behind, but Melk, a 2K barrage, will keep Liberty in this Grinch. 
falling off the edge. Most likely got booped. Fractal gets a kill into the Lucio with that high noon. And the Mercy has the Valkyrie up. Might look for a res here. Daike won't be able to be long. Does get Fractal with the Death Blossom, but that's it. And it's just the Wrecking Ball on point as the rest of Albany come back. Looking pretty even. Waterworks on that Mora. Going low. Same thing for Abergit. But looks like the first to fall will in fact be Abergit. It was a 6v6. It is now a 6v5. Plus Midas Man is anti. Gets the nano boost actually. But falls to Grinch's minefield. And that will be LU cleaning up shop. Night K will go down as well. No one left on the point. LU taking the point back. Actually, the Jungus, two health. Survives long enough to get some of his team back and survives long enough to get the Wrecking Ball back on the point after Liberty flips it, though. Fractal switching to, switched over to the Tracer. Looking to go out. No one to touch. And yeah, so Widow is definitely tough against... Yeah, definitely the Widow was not, I don't think was the best decision at the beginning. Definitely a tough play for Fractal to be on and Milk to be on. I forget who was on the Widowmaker, but definitely a tough play. And you saw they already switch onto the McCree. So, right now Fractal deciding to stay on this Tracer. And Abajit will decide to stay on the, actually Fractal switching over to the Reaper late. The only changes we will see is Jude's on the Zarya. So they have decided to gun Zarya Reinhardt, actually. Which we saw a lot of in last game from the opposing team. Which was WMU, I believe. As well, Fractal and Milk switching to this Reaper May that... Milk definitely likes playing this May and Farah a lot. And I think, especially on this point, because there's only one really entrance into the point. One main entrance. The May has a chance to do just that and cut off the team... And Grizzle, so low, won't fall, but Knight K will. Liberty have first priority over the point, and they will take it. I would have to see this Zarya. 69 charge, not bad. <laughs> Actually, a pretty nice charge right there. I'm doing pretty good at keeping the barrier on himself, but... Might fall to the Mora here, will. Will fall to the Mora and Baptiste combo, and Grinch goes down as well. It's a pretty even trade out, but Liberty once again has priority over the point, and with that May still up, they can block off a wall. This man goes in on the Wrecking Ball, just falls though. And again, the May just walling off this point, just more time, more percentage for Liberty. And just more and more walls. And here's the Death Blossom, plus the bubble. Excellent job using the bubble onto the Reaper there. Helping him stay alive, not take as much damage. Night K will come and get a 2k, plus the Minefield, plus the Tactical Visor. And actually, by using three ults, Albany will get the point back. Will actually take the point for the first time in this, in this round. This map within a map. Yes. And there's the Ant Matrix. That's going to force Liberty back off. Just once again, more time for Albany to stay on this point. And they've corralled Liberty into this room on the side. Mayalti won't get dodged out of. Abajit won't be able to survive it. And Liberty is going to push onto this point. And this Reaper in the face of Baptiste and Arisa. Nothing that can be done. And Night K on the Reaper for Albany falls beneath the point. Won't be able to touch it in time to stall it out. And is now separated from the rest of his team. Abaji does get a nice kill onto Melk. And they are going to have to actually keep an eye on this Reaper. As he's still beneath them. He's still behind them a little bit. Shatter. Came out from Grinch. Did get the Baptiste. But he was able to get the Immortality Field up before he fell. Abaji behind on that soldier, unable to get anything going. And this Zarya once again, 70 charge, fractal with the death blossom to end it up. And 
Mittis man will be able to escape on the wrecking ball and Edis Straub will actually fall because of the chase on that. Zarya ult doesn't get anybody, but it's an excellent idea at least to be used to make sure that they can't get to the point. They do. Albany does get to the point anyway, but both of their members fall that were on it. And the Maywall, only Grizzle and Moira are there. And they will both fall, plus the sound barrier. Liberty just has to finish off the last stallers, and they will take point two of Oasis and the first map. We'll see play right here, real quick. Night K on the sweeper. This was the opening that brought Albany onto the point, getting a quick kill on the fractal, following it up on the Evistrop, and then dealing enough damage to the Reinhardt barrier to make sure he can't do anything else. 